In this series of videos, we're going to be learning about a musical concept called an interval. Now, an interval has two parts to its definition. An interval can measure the distance between two notes. So, for example, the distance between D and A, the top note and the bottom note here, and then examines what we call the quality that exists between these two notes, which is a little bit harder to describe. This video will focus on measuring distance because this is by far the easier of the two in order to understand. So to identify the distance component of an interval, all we need to do is count how many lines and spaces exist between the bottom note of an interval and the top note of an interval. So if we consider the example of D to A here, we would count D as a distance of 1. Then going up from D to E would be a distance of 2. D to F would be a distance of 3. D to G would be a distance of 4. And by the time we get to A, that would be a distance of 5. So this interval is what we would call a fifth. Now, when we take a look at a C major scale, we can see all of the different intervals that result between the bottom note, C, and every other note of the scale. So going from C to D, this interval, the distance between C and D, would be what we call a second, because if C is classified as 1, then we would have to count 2 up to D in order to get to that note, so this would be a second. C to D. E here, if we measure this distance, so again, C is 1, D would be 2, and E would be 3. So the distance between C and E is a third. The distance between C and F, if you count C, D, E, F, we counted up four times, so this would be called a fourth. C to G is the same interval between D and A, because if we count from C to G, C, D, E, F, G, we have to count up five times, so this is an interval of a fifth. C to A, again, if we count C, D, E, F, G, A, you should have counted a total of sixth notes, six notes rather, so the distance between C and A is a sixth. C to B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, you should have counted a total of seven times, so from C to B is a seventh, and then once we get back to C, if we count C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, you should have counted a total of eight times, so this is why the distance between C and the higher C is what we call an eighth, and if we remember that the prefix for eight is oct, that's why the distance between any note and the higher version of that same note is what we call an octave, because the two notes are an interval of an eighth apart. The only other interval that is given a special name is if we have a note, so for example, if we have middle C, and if you play a middle C right after that, this seems a little bit silly to call it an interval, but remember that if we classify the bottom note is one, then we end on the same note, which is also one, and therefore our interval is one, or what we would call a unison. This concludes our video on understanding and calculating interval distance. Before the next video where we take a look at quality, see if you can identify the distance between each of the pairs of notes, between the bottom note and the top note, for all of the practice examples below.